delete post. All right, I think this is fine, finally. Um, chat, can you please let me know if this is finally working? Hopefully it is. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I was trying to get it everywhere and I was not necessarily looking into everything. So this is the Fig Flip live stream. Uh, perfect. And uh, hopefully, this time around we are doing doing good um please let me know if if it's not working uh i'll appreciate that uh let me move it here so that i can see all of this stuff um perfect now i can see all of the programs that i need to see um yeah so today we have the fake flip too and finally i think we have solved every issue first it was our mac that wasn't working very well um, we'll have questions and answers as always, and you know, things of that nature. So whatever you guys think is best, uh, but let's get us started with our trusty, uh, one minute and 30 seconds with our hardware overview. Um, and again, I'll be doing a full review on this, uh, in just kind of like in a second, probably next week. Uh, but essentially, this is what we have so far. So it is a flip phone. It's a nice flip phone right here. Um, I think my settings are messed up with the... Oh, give me a second. Let me get that focus speaking out. Off right there. Perfect. Now we don't have that. Perfect. So um, I hope you guys can hear me. Please let me know if it's not working. I can see my levels going up and down, so it should work. Uh, but it is the Fig Flip 2. Um, and... Here we have an excellent model. Uh, it's uh, $350, so it's a little bit more expensive than most devices, especially since I've been showcasing the uh, Alcatel right here. This is $20 right here, um, but it's it's bigger, definitely. So let me put it kind of into perspective from like a another flip phone device. Uh, so this is the Fig Flip 2, $20. This is, a, I'm sorry, the Alca TCL Flip 2. And this is the Fig Flip 2. So kind of similar naming. That's why I was getting a little bit confused. Um, and right here, when it's open, it is definitely, definitely way bigger uh, than the TCL. Like um, when you put them down together, it probably uh, just by that margin right there, pretty much a full thumb. Um, so they are both running Android. Uh, this one is an unlocked version of Android, if you will. It's not a full, uh, it's a full version. This one is a restricted version right here, but it does have some extra niceties that you should be aware of. Um, this is a kosher device, uh, first of all. And by that, I mean that it is restricted. It doesn't have all of the bells and whistles. It's not going to be a device that you're going to be using for the purposes of installing every single app. It just comes with what it comes and you will not be able to do anything else but that. So there are some restrictions that you need to kind of like be taken into account, uh, but I don't think there are deal breakers if you know what you're getting into. Uh, it does work so far with AT&T and T-Mobile. So those are my, it's unlocked. So it probably can work outside of the United States as well. I actually believe that it should work outside of the United States uh, because um, it does have some apps that only work in Israel. So I'll be show, showcasing that. You can navigate pretty much everything via the, um, via the uh, keypad. So you don't have to use the touch screen if you don't want to, but you can if if, if you want to. Uh, this key right here allows you to get into your apps. This one goes back. This one gets into your messages. Uh, this one gets into ways, as I was showcasing in my Mac version of this. Uh, and essentially, uh, ways is available. So for the purposes of um, traveling or you know getting some of that information out here and there so that's something if, if that's something that's important to you then i definitely recommend that you uh, take a look into this device right like if directions is very important um take a look into the device then you have a couple of extra things let me shut down um for ways you do have to use a little bit of the um the smart capabilities it's not very navigational with um, the keypad. So as you see right there, I'm trying to get through it, but 
you know, it's not it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So you probably will need to use the touch screen, which is not a deal breaker. I mean, that's what the touch screen is there, right? Uh, so shut it down again. Um, besides that, you have your calls, you have your camera, uh, which uh, has a touch to focus. So let me showcase this to you right here. So, um, oh yes, the camera is in the wrong place. It's right here instead of here on this panel. I wish it was on this panel right here, um, but it is on the bottom panel. And uh, that to me is the incorrect placement. It's just my, my personal view. So as you see right here, I'm going to touch or tap to, um, tap to, uh, to focus. It is focus. It's just that my here, let me show you, let me change the focus from far reaching. There you go. Now that we're close, so you can tap it and it will focus right there, or you can tap it right here in different areas. And it will of course get darker because it's kind of like a, like focusing on, on, on a, on a different thing. So let me go back to my regular focus uh, ring right here. Um, so it does have video, uh, but I couldn't find a reliable video player. So, you know, you can record video, uh, I believe up to a certain sense, and then you can play it in the gallery, but it didn't play the time that I tried it. So maybe it was a trial and error kind of a thing. Um, what else? Uh, let me go to more apps. So it does have contacts. It has files, a uh, gallery, uh, it has, um, notes and a music player. Uh, again, all of these are offline. So it's not nothing like streaming or anything of that nature. It's just essentially, you know, um, just the ability to stream music, just the ability to get your notes, uh, camera calendar. And we'll go in depth through all of these since I do have time today, as I was saying, uh, it's a snow day outside. So I get to hang out with you guys for a little bit. Uh, you do have the weather, which I think is a nice addition. The only problem is that's not getting my location very well. I'm going to try to see what happens. And of course, this is not a full review. So I'm just kind of like testing like the initial things. I think that's so much better for calls. Uh, okay. So you guys are saying a couple comments here. I have my webcam through a phone today because um, the computer that I have doesn't have a webcam. So if you look at my hand right here and it's weird, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. So then we have the fig flip, right? Um, you have uh, weather, you have, then you have some specific apps to the, I, I believe the Jewish community or Hasidic community, uh, which is Yesod. Um, I don't know what all of these are, but this looks like a religious text to me right here. Um, I'm not sure, uh, if you know, you read Hebrew or, uh, have that capability, um, then, you know, you may know what this is or what this specific thing is about. I mean, I can definitely tell like, you know, for example, here is, uh, Bina or Bena and Aleph. So maybe beginning or something like that. Then that's the Derek right here, which is way. Uh, so yeah, I, again, it looks like a religious text to me. Um, I, I did to take Hebrew and my, biblical Hebrew in my college classes. So I do know a little bit, but without the vowels, I cannot service much. Uh, anyways, let's go back to a couple of extra apps. Then it has Tefilon or Tiflon. Uh, again, I would assume it's another kind of like religious text thing, uh, but I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. So I wouldn't be able to, to say, uh, then it has Ravkov, which is a, I think it's a bus pass for, um, Israel. So that's from what I've been able to gather uh, from the internet and my searches and stuff like that. Um, because it says scan the, the card, I am going to assume that there is some sort of NFC module in here. So I'm going to be, um, you know, kind of like looking into that and asking a couple extra questions in the community, uh, to see if somebody knows, then it has hala halakhic uh, times, which I think are times for prayer. Uh, and you get to, again, essentially say, okay, this is the time for prayer, things of that nature. Um, and of course it does have the gallery right here, which there are no videos, but right now I'm going to take a picture of this. So you can see, uh, how it looks like in the, in the gallery. So right there, it's a picture. Oh, sorry. I was hiding it. Uh, so right there is a picture. It's 
um, I took it very haphazardly. So, you know, I wasn't really trying to get all the focus, but I can definitely see how this is going to be one of the best cameras that I have tested on a, on a dumb phone. So it's going to be actually uh, very good in my opinion. So I think it's going to focus well and it's going to have a lot of the good things. Um, so let's go back now. Again, you can navigate without the need. You do have a calculator uh, right there. So if you have the need to do extra calculations for whatever reason, uh, you can do that. You have an audio recorder. Um, it says 51.9 gigabytes are free. So I am going to assume that this means that um, it does have about 64 gigs of storage or uh, at the very least or something like that. I think I saw on the sticker in the back. So when you open this, uh, it does have a sticker that says four and 64. So I am going to assume that's four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Um, it does have a calendar, which I think it's a very nifty feature. And because it's the Android basic calendar, this probably has unlimited entries with 64 gigs of storage. So I expect it to be actually very good. I have a couple of questions. So let me go look here. Uh, any idea about availability in Europe and side loading of apps? Okay. So yes, good question, RF. Um, well, I don't think, I don't know if they ship to Europe. Uh, their website is pretty straightforward at the fig um, company. So fig flip two, if you search for it, uh, you will get fig kosher. That's their website. Um, I'm not sure if they are able to, um, if you previously bought the flip, flip one, I don't necessarily see view my card. I don't know if they only ship here within the continental United States. I'm trying to see shipping address. Yeah, they're only shipping to the United States right now, as far as I'm able to tell. Um, and let me see if I can showcase it to you guys on the uh, screen capture right here. Let me go to right here. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't have the whole um, turn off notification done right there. Okay, so this should work, I think. Able to see it. Yep, there it is. Perfect. So yes, so right here, I'll show you. Um, so this is the website, Fig Flip, you know, $372 with taxes and everything and shipping, I believe is free. Um, I don't I don't believe I, I paid anything for that. Uh, but yeah, it's only in the United States, sadly, that uh, they are able to ship. So it's a little bit of an inconvenient. But if you have somebody that lives here in the United States, and that is uh, willing and able to bring it to you to Europe, uh, then that's definitely a possibility. As far as side loading apps, sadly, that is not available. Um, side loading is not available for this uh, for this device. Um, and uh, as of now, th this per my testing, right? So again, I've had it for around 24 hours or so. I think it came on a Tuesday night. So um, take it with a grain of salt. I'm going to definitely try to do um, some of the extra customizations that I always try, like installing applications, things of that nature. Uh, yeah. So Samir, you just asked, yeah, can we install WhatsApp on it? So far, I have not found a way to do so. Uh, it doesn't have the ability to do ADB. Uh, and because it doesn't have a browser, I haven't been able to put in uh, any kind of APK in it. But I'll be trying, you know, and of course, like, you know, just just kind of like wait it out and and I'll be researching, you know, whether it's able to be broken uh, into and kind of like getting around it. So uh, but as it is right. So like take it as it is, um, look into it, into this device as it is, which essentially means it does have phone calls. It has text messages. It does have the weather and it does have ways. And that's it. I mean, think, think of it in those terms as of right now. And if I find more information, once I have the full review, then I will be able to give you more information about it. But so far it works uh, pretty decently. I'm going to be sending um, a text. Uh, let me, let me put in my phone number, my tester phone number so that um, I have the ability to, um, okay, test, no, no. Uh, test and of course i haven't showcased uh, to you guys the the engine for texting right so we'll we'll be we'll be doing that in just a second all right let's see save that um let's go back and now let's send a text message yes test that's correct all right so uh te texting capabilities around 14 minutes from uh no that's not what i want Sorry, guys. Um, 
let me see right here 14 minutes i just want to make sure that i keep with a couple of timestamps in here and here and there 14 minutes texting experience i'll be short in this one guys so i will not be here all day essentially um i have a couple of extra things to do but you know i want to make sure that you guys get an idea of how this works um okay so here we have the texting experience uh, let me punch in a little bit more so you guys can see how this looks um and then we'll punch out because of course you know so first of all it does have triple click so let me see um uh, it does have t9 apparently two or no that's just two let's see I'm going to do test. Yep, it does have T9. Uh, I believe this is a configuration of K9 T9 uh, or the sorts. Uh, you press the zero to do the space. Uh, and then let's see. My name is Jose. Yep, this seems like K99, which is um, something around the um, Kaisera uh, Kyocera, I believe the Kyocera, um, DuraX V plus, I feel like that's the one I'm getting a couple notifications here on this thing. So let me just shut that down. Um, okay. Let's try if, if you do, I right here, I, uh, you will have to switch to it. So it doesn't do I automatically, which is a, a bummer, but you know, it's, it's not something that I'm, I'm not used to um let's see well let's send a text message let's just send a test test um to my light phone boom right there and let's see if i got it let's see yep i did get it with my temporary phone number there it is that's test boom and that's the temporary phone number that i have for all of my testing devices so if you ever want to make a call you know you can call me if you want to um, for that number, I may not answer because again, it's the tester phone number and I only use it to test compatibility. And then I swap the SIM card. So I have like three of them for AT&T, T-Mobile and Verizon. Um, okay. So we have test, uh, so far, um, you do have emojis. Yay. Right there. You can use some emojis. Uh, let's send, uh, this emoji right here. Oh, interesting. Huh? That's not the emoji. Look at that. That's odd. It's doing the party emoji, not the, um, it's probably because the engine is doing something else. Okay. Let's send this one. This is more common. Okay. That's, that's the emoji. Yeah. So, okay. Let's send it and let's see if that receives it. Boom. Right there. It received. Um, so I'll send a text to it test and it should receive it without any issues boom right there we have the test test uh so this is working pretty well so far uh it seems to have an audio piece uh right here so we're going to test that oh i had to press it oh okay I, I wonder oh okay so it's a full audio text message that's pretty good uh let's see if i can just press it with the keys without having to use the touchpad Hello, my name is Jose. No, 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 no. You have to press. Hello, my name is Jose. Is this working? Okay, now let's play it. Oh. Uh, I think I may have to press it with it. Yeah, let's see. Hello, my name is Jose. Okay, it's super it's quiet. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably you can't. It's, it's, it's extremely quiet. Let me see if I can record something. Hello. My name is Jose. Hello. My name is Jose. Okay. Even if you're closer, Hello, my name is Jose. it's, um, it's not very good. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't be like, you know, like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Okay. Let me punch out a little bit. Uh, so we can get a little bit more perspective into it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't use it personally, the, the, um, the audio text, if you maybe are very close to the microphone, it will be a little bit better, but again, this is not, 
it's not very nice. Uh, you can also add attachments. Uh, camera says it's not available, so I'm going to assume. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you can add an attachment. So that's really nice. Um, you can also, I guess, the other attachment that you can do is the tap and hold for voice to text. And then, of course, uh, you can send a contact, which which is nice. Uh, this probably has no issues since it's Android. Uh, we're just going to double check for group text messages. Um, advanced group messaging. Send single MMS to all recipients. Yep, it does have group text messaging without any issues. Um, so that is that. Very good. I, I, I really, really enjoy that. Uh, RBR says it looks to be similar in size to Samsung Galaxy Folder 2. Yes, and actually I have one of those coming in. I, I got it from Swappa from one of you. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, you guys are doing amazing by telling me, hey, go get this. I think... Um, I, I did order it the other day, so hopefully it's it's on its way already. Um, it does have the ability to have music, uh, but again, it's going to probably be a limited version of music um, because it is um, you have to have the MP3s and you probably have to connect, which is nice because this has, um, I don't know if you can appreciate it there, but it does have USB-C. So let me see if I can change it so you can let me change the focus uh, right there. Boom super focus into minimum distance so right there is usb-c and it works uh probably uh, very well so let me go back there you go guys you guys are seeing all of my skills <laughs> camera skills right there um okay so so far again it's a device that has the ability to do uh some of the basics so it does have the ability to do um ways it does have the ability to do text messaging music playing calendar calculator uh, and things of that nature. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky for me because you have a device. Okay, number one, this is $350. So think about that as you are thinking about the the the, the capabilities, right, of the device. Uh, there's a couple of things that come to my mind. First of all, right here is the Alcatel TCL, uh, TCL Flip 2. They're the same company, Alcatel and TCL, but uh, the TCL Flip 2 is right here. This one is $20, right? And to me, um, I think this is a little bit of a better proposition. Uh, I'm a little bit out of focus. Let me see if I can bring it in. There it is. Now it looks a little crispier. So this is the TCL Flip 2. This is $20. This is $350. But you can customize this device to have some of the similar features. Of course, it's not going to have a touchscreen because that's a hardware compatibility thing. Um, but here is one of my things. Um, let me be right back. I'm going to bring my Bluetooth mouse so that we can connect it and kind of see how all, all, of, all of this works. Uh, because I think that that's the differentiator between a $20 device and a $350 device. Um, at least I should be able to customize it a little bit further for, if I'm paying that much. Uh, but, you know, we'll go to a little bit philosophical discussion in just a second. Uh, but I'll bring my, my, my mouse so that we can connect it to the uh, TCL Flip 2. And I can show you that, you know, there's some things that we can use, like F droid, for example, and organic maps and things like that. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back and uh, let's pair this. So I have my Bluetooth mouse right here um, and I'm going to put it in pairing mode. And then I'm gonna to go to Bluetooth in my trusty TCL Flip 2. Uh, let's go to settings, uh, phone settings, uh, probably wireless network, there it is. Bluetooth on, okay. MX Master 3. I know it's a little bit of an overkill kind of device, um, but we're going to pair it. So uh, now we are able to, as you see, we have a virtual mouse right here with our MX Master 3. And again, a little bit of an overkill, um, <laughs> just just a little bit. But let me show you why I think this, um, this is... A, a, a better device for for the price right so number one um this is with a bluetooth mouse so it will be annoying to kind of use a bluetooth mouse in this case all the time but it's not it's kind of like a matter of what you what you prefer but let me go back to f droid right so let's go to f droid 
um, and we're going to install uh, or we can actually install Waze if I wanted to. Um, but let's let's be a little bit fair. I'm like right here, no such app found. Okay, so maps. Uh, we're gonna go back. Uh, okay, right here. I think this is not refreshed. But I'm going to refresh it right now, so it's going to be refreshing. Um, and I do have some apps. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I can install it just right here. Uh, no such app found. Staging app. Perfect. Installing it. And then I'll showcase a couple of things to you. Um, I'm going to get a different launcher uh, connected to this device so that you guys can see like, hey, this is something that can be done and like it's something that, that you, you should be able to do. It's like right there. We open it while using the app. We're going to download the world map. And of course, there are better uh, implementations of other maps that may work better on this device. But as you see, I have way more control over this $20 phone than I have over a $350 phone. So I'm a little bit conflicted so far. Now, let's kind of go apples to apples. Meanwhile, we wait for this to download and kind of showcase some of that functionality. But let's say here's another device that it is restricted, right? Um, quote unquote restricted. And I'll get to that in just a second. But here we have the Life Phone 2. This one's $300. The Fig is $350, right? So hey, they're in the same ballpark. They have pretty much a similar feature. So you have messaging, music, uh, you do have ways here and a calendar. So th those are a little bit extra things that you can have on the Life Phone 2. You have phone, music, podcast, directions, alarm, calculator, settings, hotspot, and notes. So they're kind of like very similar and they're pretty much in the same price range. Now, here is my, um, my, I guess I'm hopeful that the, um, I'm hopeful that the Fig Flip 2 will have the same level of support and updates over the years, but I just haven't interacted with the company enough for me to say like, yes, it's going to have the, um, the best, um, you know, kind of like the best updates and track record. Whereas with the light phone, I've been with them for three years and they have updated pretty much everything. So I'm kind of like, okay, well, let's kind of see. But these are kind of like similar devices, right? Like they have similar philosophy. The problem is, at least in my opinion, is number one, support. Like, is it going to be supported? And number two is the sheer size. So that's just a personal preference kind of a thing. But they're kind of similar. Now, the Life Phone is getting calendars very soon, right? So they're going to be pretty much in the same ballpark. Now, the question is, what are you actually going for? So if you're going for something that you want to customize fully, then none of these devices are very good, even though I'll showcase this to you right here. Uh, you do have the ability to... Oh, I already went. You do have the ability to do um, the Android layer and... Um, going to showcase it here. All right. So here we have the Android layer on the Light Phone 2. So technically, while this device is not by default customizable, you do have the ability to customize it whichever you want because it does have an Android of layer and e-paper in here. Um, so it is actually technically able to be customized for, for $300. You're getting that customization if you want to. But that's where I have a little bit of like, you know, kind of like the issue out here with the uh, fig flip. Let me go back to light OS. So, you know, this is the more limited version right here. So here we have the fig, uh, the TCL flip two for $20. You do maybe spend 20 minutes trying to customize it and you have the ability to install pretty much every app that you want. I'll showcase a couple of extra apps in here. Um, I'll download a couple launchers. Let's see. Um, oh, I can actually do it from the F droid store right here let's go and categories let's do aurora store hopefully it comes up there it is uh aurora store there it is install boom it's installing I can scroll with my mouse, as you see right here. I'm not touching anything, just, you know, kind of like scrolling with the mouse. Uh, and of course, it's going to be a little bit annoying that you have to use the mouse. But again, you know, you kind of have a couple of those, a couple of those things here and there. Um, 
I do have a couple questions. Uh, I'm going to get to the questions. Don't worry. You know, we're going to get there. Yes, I accept. I accept. This feels like a computer, uh, like, a, like a full terminal, you know, like when, when I use it like this. Uh, grant, allow. Uh, let's see. Grant. Uh, right there. Access to files. Yes, I want to manage those files so that I'm able to install what I need to install. Uh, installer. Select. Yep. Permission granted. Finish. Okay. Now we're going to. Ooh, I can now scroll. No, I don't want to use Google. That's interesting. I was not expecting to have this roadblock, but. Um, Let's see if I'm able to go a little bit lower. No. Nope. Okay, let me close this and then go back. Let's see if that will give me a little bit more access. Blacklist manager. Ooh. It's not scrolling, which is an issue. Um, but I'll download WhatsApp in a different way. So I'll just go to the browser. That'll be easier. And I'll download WhatsApp. Um, the virtual mouse will definitely, um, the virtual mouse would definitely fix this, but I haven't installed it. Uh, there is a, a little bit of an extra configuration files that you need that you need to kind of do. Um, WhatsApp, Messenger. No, I need the official one, please. I don't want. There it is. WhatsApp, and then it should guide me to the web page. But as you see right here, I am. About to download it. Uh, open with browser. Yeah, I wish I could open it with the Aurora store, but oh no, 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 no. I just want to download the APK. Mm. Darn it. This is taking forever. Let me see if I can see something here. Privacy, blog, download. Can I go to. Aha, there it is. Just once. No, no, it redirects me. Okay, I'm going to search it up in a different way. And as you guys know, I'm okay with all of these struggles because, again, I'm showcasing that you have to spend some time and customize it in a different way. So we have a couple of questions and I'll deal with them as I'm, you know, kind of searching through um, some of this stuff. So essentially, one of the questions it says right here is, what's the best... Um, What's the best dumb phone to transition to? I think that depends on what you want. Uh, there's a lot of good dumb phones to transition to. Um, let me go. I don't recognize any of these. So let me go A, P, K, download. Oh, darn it. No, that's not what I want. <sighs> These are the, the problems of the web. A, P, Okay. Okay. Go. Okay. Now we have it. Let's see. APK boxes, APK six, APK pure. Well, that's something that I, I, um, I trust. <laughs> um, even though this is not my main device, I still don't want to get anything in there. Uh, so, and then you, you said like, uh, what's the best dumb phone to change to? I think that really depends on your priorities. Um, I personally prefer the light phone because it's simple and is well supported and it works with everything I need to do. But if you need something like WhatsApp, if you need something like that, um, I recommend that you go to the dumb phone finder. So, <laughs> you know, um, that's a tool I created um, some time ago. This is not downloading. It didn't download. Let's see. Download. No, no, I don't need that. I need the app itself. So can I Let me see if it's going to download. Um, but I, I kind of want to showcase to you guys the Dome Phone Finder so that you can see the new feature that I have, which is a quiz. Let me see if I can. Uh, um, let me see here. Go to domephonefinder.com and that will redirect you to my page. Aha, there it is. Up, up, a little bit more, a little bit more. Download APK. Yay, finally. 
Okay, WhatsApp download APK. Yes, okay. Speeding up your download. Okay, so here we have the Donphone phone finder um, and a couple of things that you may not have seen. Uh, the Dumb Phone Finder now has a sponsor, which is Dumb Wireless. Um, I'll talk about them. Essentially, they do a lot of the Dumb Phones and they sell them. And if you use this link right here, you will get 5% automatically off. And I'll showcase that to you in just a second. But you can find my YouTube reviews, you can find the newsletter, but you can also take the Dumb Phone quiz. So again, if you are somebody that's like, I don't know what I need, uh, I don't know what I'm looking for, um, because you know the Dumb Phone Finder has all of these different like star ratings and like, supports and updates, categories, like whether they're 4G, 3G, and stuff like that. Well, you can take the dumb phone quiz. You can take the dumb phone quiz. And it's a quiz that I made with a company called Marble. That's pretty easy. So you ask, uh, I ask you, I think, four questions. Do you need smart apps? If you need smart apps, you click yes. Uh, and then what's your preferred form factor? Touchscreen, candy bar, or flip? Let's say it's flip phone. What's your budget? zero to 150, 152 plus. So let's say it's 150 plus, or let's say zero to 150. And let's say we are in Europe. So North America, Africa, Asia, Oceania. Uh, these are phones that will work. And boom, right there, you have two results. You need smart apps, you need to install them. You're willing to customize it. You have the Doro 7030, and then you have the blue tank flip. And if you click that, it should take you to the Amazon search of um, essentially where to buy it. And I believe I do also have the one with the Doro. Yes, yes, Amazon UK, there it is. Boom, although it's currently unavailable. Um, but probably you can go to the Doro store or keep an eye, you know, when it comes back in stock, things of that nature. As you see, they have other devices as well. Oh, they have a new one, the Doro 6880. Oh, okay, so that's probably why this, the other one is uh, kind of not, not working. So I'll make updates into my Dumbphone Finder as always, and I will make sure to uh, to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so right here I'm showcasing this is the quiz and you can take it as many times. Um, I st I'm still not done uh, customizing it all, but you can take the novel quiz again and I'll showcase to you what happens if I, if I would have clicked North America. It will have a support the work, uh, which if you want to support the work, uh, you can support it and it will take you to my buy me a coffee. You can buy me a coffee either by being a member or you can just support with a one time payment. So um, that's just something that, you know, I kind of have to say all of this work is provided for free to you guys, but it does cost me a little bit. I appreciate all of you who have donated in one way or another. And you can also try again, but I haven't, you know, got into this point. So this is a pretty much a static page that gives you recommendations based on my experience experience and the experiences of others for the best dumb phones that you can transition to. Uh, let me do candy bar so you guys can see, um, do you need smart apps? No. Let's say you want a candy bar phone between 0 150 North America, Nokia 2254G is going to be your best bet. That is um, just tested and tried and it's something that is just the, the best um, usability in my opinion. You can also go to the dumb phone finder and go by the different categories if you wanted to work with Voilty E if you need group text messages, which operating system you want to do, hotspot tethering, and when you click one of these and you need WhatsApp web and you need Spotify, it will start filtering through every single little thing that you have the ability to, to get in there. So right there, we filter through all of the devices and the ones that I recommend for you. So right there you have uh, in the Dome Phone Finder, something that can help you recognize, hey, which Dome Phone is the best uh, for me? Um, so again, you know, kind of like some, some of the, some of the things I wanted to showcase uh, right there. Uh, let's go to notifications and now let's install this, uh, app right here, which is WhatsApp. And uh, I mean, I'm showcasing this to you. This is a $20 phone, but you're able to install WhatsApp. This is a $350 phone and you are not able to install WhatsApp. So if WhatsApp is something that's a priority to you, then you know, do that. Uh, it says app not installed. Okay, well, we're gonna try again. I don't know why it's not uh, staging my apps. Should do so. Um, if not, I'll, I'll find another way. I, I was able to install different applications before. Um, I just installed organic maps, so I have no idea why this is not installing it, but let me download a different launcher. So I'm able to show you a couple of extra things. So right now, one of the biggest um, difficulties with, um, let's see, M Launcher, Simple Launcher, um, let's see, Simple Keyboard, 
Mm, oh, launcher. Yes. That's one of my favorite ones. It's super simple. Um, and I think that's the one or it's the one below. But it was one of the two. Um, we kind of showcase to you, hey, you can install apps on this phone, kind of do the different things. I am not sure why the WhatsApp didn't install. Maybe it has some configuration that it only allows it to install devices that have Google Play services. Um, but here, right here, on launcher or all launcher. So let's do all launcher right here. Oh, let me do it with that. Yep. All launcher. Boom, right there. Swipe up for all of your apps. Long press for er everywhere. Oh, boom. Okay. Boom, right there. So I'm swiping and I, now I can navigate throughout and I can see all of the apps that are, you know, in this device. It's, uh, the visibility is not very good. Um, let me see if I can change that. Uh, and probably is because of the, probably is because of the, yeah, the, uh, the background. You can definitely see it here, but, um, right here, settings. Oh, those are the, let me see in display wallpapers. Uh, let me see if I can try something darker. Yeah. Right here. Let's go back just once. I don't want to, Ooh, no, that's, that's even worse, right? Yep, you cannot read that. So it has to be something, something white, uh, right? All right, let's go all the way down to something white. Display, wallpapers, wallpaper gallery. This one probably will be a little bit better. Just once. I don't know if you guys can see it. Boom, right there. Uh, barely probably. Yeah. Right there. So anyways, this is the list of apps, you know, things of that nature. Um, yeah. So this is a $20 phone that can install apps and do a lot of different things, but you know, right here, you have a $350 phone that is more limited. Now, here's the thing. I don't mind when people get something that, um, it's a little bit more expensive or, you know, like it, it doesn't work as, as, people want it to be as long as they know what they're getting into. So for example, I'll give you the example. My example, my personal example is I have a light phone too. This is the device I use every day, but I have accepted that it's going to be great for what I need to use it. I am not going to be saying like, Oh, this is the worst device in the world. It doesn't have all the features that I used to have on my smartphone. No, that's not the, that's not the, the, the point of the phone. You know, I'm, I'm getting into a phone that is limited by design and I'm going to adapt my lifestyle to it. Uh, and that's something that I, I want to talk about more in the upcoming videos. Maybe I'll do a video about it or, uh, um, a, uh, what's it called? Maybe I'll do a, um, um, Substack uh, newsletter, which, you know, you can sign up for my Substack newsletter if you're inter interested in uh, looking into my writing. Um, but something that I, I'm, I'm a firm believer is like this whole thing about dumb phones, it's not about digital detox, it's about lifestyle change. So if you're willing to change your lifestyle, I think a dumb phone is a great complement to your lifestyle. But if all you're trying to do is get a digital detox, there are other options that may be better suited for you. So, I mean, an example is the unplug key. You know, I had them on a live stream, uh, a couple of, um, yeah. So like, if you're looking into getting a device that is a little bit more expensive, like this one, uh, it's a little bit more premium, right? You know, it does feel nicer than the $20 phone, right? This is $20. Um, this one is you know, $350. So it does feel nicer. Um, and it does have support. It seems like it's going to get updates. Actually, I believe I got an update today. Uh, let me go see. Um, so yeah, it, it seems like it's going to have updates. It's going to have, you know, a couple of those things, then that's okay. You know, like, I, I mean, just know what you're getting into. Um, Android version 11 system. Mm, no, where is the update one? I know, I know I saw it. Software information, software update. That's what it is. Aha. There it is. Yeah. So this, uh, this update was, um, given, uh, it doesn't say, but, um, I did get that prompt from the update. So it seems that the company is behind it. So if you're looking for something that is basic, but it does have ways and it does have text messages that are reliable in calls. I don't think it's a bad idea. You know, that's what I got with this. This is basic. This is reliable and the company is behind it. So, you know, it's something that you, you should look into. 
Okay. All right. Let's get back to some questions uh, and some comments. Uh, Intuition says, hello, Jose. This is what I actually use on my Shock Classic to install APKs from the Pure APK store to download Audible and other apps. Bluetooth mouses always come in handy. Yes, they do. Uh, now that I remember, I use the Finti Bluetooth keyboard I had for my Fire tablet. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, hey, you know, it sounds a little bit overkill, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Nico says, being in the UK, all, all we have is these couple of options. I can stand Doro. Uh, Sunbeam F1 is a beautiful phone, but their support said they can't guarantee it will work here. Uh, that is true. Um, so just FYI for, for I mean, I know it's, it's not ideal, but I'm, I'm going to be going to Europe in the summer for two weeks, and I'm going to be bringing a sleuth of devices with me to test, um, especially, so I'm going to bring a light phone. Uh, an international version and a regular version. I'll be testing with carriers in Iceland, Italy, Switzerland, the Netherlands, and Germany. So I'll have five countries to test, and that kind of give you, gives you an idea for uh, Europe just in general. Um, but I'll be testing the Light Phone 2. I'll be testing the Mudita Pure. I'll be testing the Punked MP02, um, which all of those should work without issues. And then I'll be testing the Sunbeam F1. So I'll be bringing one of those. And I believe I'll be bringing the Cat S22 Flip because that one is one that a lot of you want to import uh, for Europe. So I'll be testing uh, kind of like, you know, taking the risk for you and kind of giving you my ideas. It's like, OK, it works in this country, so it probably will work in this other country. I think I believe the Cat S22 Flip does work in um, does work in the UK and say that because I do have it in my quiz. Let me go to the quiz. Let's see, guys. All right, let me put you guys back on this. Let me go to the quiz. And I believe I said if you get it unlocked, it should work because I have had reports, plenty of reports, not just one person, but like I have had like five, six people that have reported to me that it does work. So do you need smart apps? Yes. Uh, flip phone, more than $150 in Europe. Blue tank flip. Oh, this shouldn't be. Hmm. Oh, I know why. It's probably because it should set touchscreen. Because this is flip phones without touchscreen. So let's go to touchscreen. 150 Europe. There it is. Xiaomi F22 Pro, Jelly 2, and Cat S22 Flip. And this one you can get on eBay for $159 brand new. Now, I have been told just a uh, word of caution that sometimes these are refurbished. They're not, ex they're not brand new, but they are unlocked. Um, uh, um, you can find them unlocked uh, on eBay. So let's see, unlocked cat S22 flip, new cat S22 flip under from T-Mobile unlocked. Yep, this is the one, 189, and it says it's brand new. I doubt that it'll be brand new, but you know, that's just my, my intuition. Um, but for $189, um, and of course, if it's not unlocked, then you'll have to call T-Mobile and kind of like get it in there. Uh, this one is a stock 179. So there's a couple options in here that you can kind of like look into, you know, um, but I do believe, and I do know that it does work in, um, it does, it should work in the, in Europe. So, uh, um, especially in the UK, I have had reports that it does work in the UK, um, uh, and I, I would I would ask in the dumb phone uh, Reddit, so dumb phone subreddit. You should check uh, you should check it out. You should take a look into it because I do believe um, it, it should work in in that. So just kind of like you know, just an idea. Okay. RBR says that's as expensive as my Sony MXP3. More actually, since that's three hundred fifty dollars in USD. Yes, it is. The Sony MXP3 is actually another one that I have gotten uh, reports that it does work in Europe as well once it's unlocked. Uh, intuition. Thank you for the appreciation. I'm always trying to help people find what's best for them. Um, okay. So do you guys have any questions about this specifically the fake flip T fake, fake flip two um, in here? Um, yeah. So yeah, let, let's, let's like a, take a look into it. Um, looks like unplug will work for me more. Um, as I do need to still receive doorbell alerts when someone pushes the video doorbell, is there any feature phone that supports that? Um, what's the app that you're looking into? Um, uh, Daniel, which, which app in specific for the video doorbell? Um, just let me know. I believe if it has the compatibility for Android go, 
Uh, the Cat S22 Flip may be the one for you because that one can work um, with a bunch of the apps from the Google Play Store. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to put Q&A on my... Uh, give me, you guys give me a second. I'm going to put Q&A on the timestamps. Um, we started comparing around 25 comparison with other devices. And then now what 45 minutes, essentially, we start doing Q&A. And I will shut off in like a little bit, but you know, kind of want to hang out with a little bit more since I have the time today. Um, one more thing I wanted to say, um, if you're looking for certain specific, um, um, the ring app, oh yeah, I think the ring app can work on the cat S22 flip. Yeah. Um, I actually don't think, uh, you should have any issues. Okay. This is rebooting. Oh, there it is. Reboot. Okay. It's going to reboot and get us that extra update. Um, okay, so I want to showcase one, one, one more, one more thing. Um, and again, it's mainly because it's not because um, you can buy the devices wherever you want to buy them. But I just recommend uh, that you can buy them through the dumb wireless. Uh, they're a small company. Um, and here, let me go back. So the dumb wireless is a company that um, is partnering with me. Uh, essentially, and what they're doing is they have phones, they have a curated list of devices, so like the iPhone, uh, Jelly 2, Punk MP02, AGM M7, Nokia 2780, and the Sony XP3+. Um, so if you were to get a light phone through them, let's got a cart, and let's go to my cart. Um, okay, let me delete this. Oh, my cart is empty, but I just added the light phone. Okay, I'll do it again. Add to cart. View my cart. Oh, why did it add that? Let's see. Let's check out and see what happens. Um. Oh, okay. So it added everything in here. Um. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that was just a mistake. But the code is Jose five uh, for five percent off. So if you're, you know, kind of looking into get a light phone or one of those other devices, you can support a small company. You can get five percent off on all of these devices. Uh, and yeah, you're supporting the channel by doing that. So if you're in the United States, um, I believe they only ship to the United States. Yep. Um, but you can get all of those devices for 5% off, which, you know, I think it's a, it's a good deal. Um, but yeah, um, again, if you have any extra, extra questions and stuff like that, please let me know. But yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good partnership. Uh, they're actually trying to expand and like, you know, um, I believe they're going to do a giveaway on their Instagram. So let me showcase them again. Uh, of the light phone too. Uh, we're going to be doing a collab and doing a Instagram, the dumb wireless. So if you want to win a light phone too, check them out very soon. Um, so here's their Instagram page. I don't know if they, um, oh, I have to log in. Well, I'm not going to. So uh, let me see if I can open a new tab. Haha, -ha, I can. Do not wake up and scroll. Start the day like it's 2009. Um, yep, there it is. <laughs> so this is the Light Phone 2. Uh, you can uh, check it out. They have, you know, all of these different devices. Uh, and they'll be doing a giveaway on Instagram very soon. Uh, I believe as soon as the calendar feature drops, uh, if you are on social media and you or you know somebody that wants a Light Phone and is still on social media, um, then you should check it out uh, because they'll be doing that giveaway uh, very, very soon. So, you know, kind of like check it out and subscribe to them and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, they'll be doing a lot of extra videos and collaborations with me and doing different things. We're actually going to have an event, I believe, in March, uh, a in-person event where we're going to be talking about dumb phones and showcasing some of these different dumb phones and stuff like that in California. So I'll be posting more details about all that good stuff. Um, okay, uh, let's continue. Let's see. Um... Let's see. Um, Fig looks very responsive, not laggy at all. Yes, actually, it is very responsive. And the reason why is because it's running a version of Android. As you see, it's right there. This is the version of Android. It's Android 11. So, of course, it's going to be super responsive because it is running a very um, updated version of Android. And it has enough RAM. It has four gigs of RAM. So I think it's, you know, it's a, it's a very good thing. Um, let's see. What else? Um, 
We have, I think something worth pointing out is that we are drawn to color. Icons have icons, notifications and distractions, stimuli from the expectation driven by dopamine. Unplugging first is that uh, in the AM helps. Absolutely. I, I, I agree. Okay. I had a chat with the manufacturer too. Helix is kind of telling us the um, uh, kind of backstory of the... Um, no, it's manufactured for, for fit, customized to their liking. Okay, so there is a probably an Alibaba um, version uh, of the phone, which is normal. Um, every manufacturer usually imports them from China, you know, and, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, Josh, uh, the Galaxy Folder. Yes, I, I believe I did order one. So they may have had more than one uh, from that store. And I, I did order one, so it should be on the way. Um, I, I, I think I said that a little bit earlier. You, you may not have been here, uh, but yeah, that's, that's another device that's cool. And hopefully we'll, we'll get to try it out. Um, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, any other questions, any other, you know, kind of stuff that you guys, um, are looking into, please let me know. Um, let's see, Nico, uh, is it sold under different names in different regions too, or is it manufactured specifically for fig? Um, oh, okay. So there, you guys are kind of having a conversation about that. Yep. Uh, so I believe, I mean, it shouldn't be hard to find, you know, whatever it is. Let's see. Um, and Alibaba.com. Let's search flip phone device. Let me show you what, what I'm searching. So let's see flip phone device. Uh, dummy phones. Let's see. Flip phone, basic phone. Sometimes so that narrows it down. Uh huh. So I believe this was the old one that they used to have the fig, fl fig flip one. And of course, you know, this is just the price of the hardware. And then probably they, you know, customize it for the brand and all that stuff. So they probably went up to like, I don't know, $50, $75 per unit. Or something like that and as you can see you can find oh this one this one's pretty actually very similar um not super similar but a little bit similar the uniwa um x28 so right here this is probably running um a very under customized device i mean yes only has 128 megabytes of ram so it's probably not gonna be you know the best but you probably can customize it and you can put android in it and that you know elevates the price a little bit here and there um, so yeah, some of these devices, I mean, look kind of like you can go customize it, probably have the best quality, you know, things of that nature. But as you see, you know, I mean, this is where they get them, they get them, they customize them and they make them like, for example, the Opal flip touch and the Sunbeam F1, they're pretty much the same device. I can show you guys Opal touch flip. They're the same device. They come from China, but, uh, on the Sunbeam F1 is extra customized so that it, um, yeah, like right there. This is a Sunbeam F1, guys. Like, um, hopefully you guys can appreciate it. Uh, oh, I'll scroll a little bit more. Uh, I think I'm on the way. Oh, okay. I'll just move it here. There you go. So this is the Sunbeam F1, essentially. Um, but it does have that uh, kind of like capability um, to... Um, it does have the capability to install apps. As you see, it has WhatsApp in there. So, you know, again, it, that's, that's, um, that's kind of like the stuff, um, that, you know, you kind of have to look into. Okay. There it is. Now we're back to our regular placement. Um, but yeah, as you see, you know, essentially what they do is they get these devices from, um, uh, Alibaba, they customize them to the, to their liking. They're not going to be 29 bucks. They're going to be, you know, probably or somewhere around, eh, you know, 75 to $125 max. But then they're, of course, upcharging uh, us <laughs> the extra, you know, the extra money in there. Oh, one thing that I wanted to see, uh, which is something that doesn't come often. Um, yeah, let me let me look into this. So I'm going to send a text message to this temporary phone number, this temporary device that I used to test. Um, let me see. Test. Let me test it again. And I want to see what happens when the screen is off, because that is something that a lot of people don't pay much attention to. Um, right here. 
I send a text message, boom, you get a notification LED. I don't know if it's a consistent one. Yes, it is a consistent one. So that is a nice touch. I am not going to lie, that's pretty nice. What happens when I press this? It tells you right there, um, it tells you right there that it does have, um, oh, sorry, does have a notification and it tells you that it is a text message. Uh, of course, it doesn't read or anything. Now I'm going to call this device and see what happens. So let's see. Perfect. It tells you who's calling you and no issues. It's uh, it's pretty loud. That's pretty good. Okay, perfect. I, oh, you cannot cancel this call from the device uh, itself. So now it will tell you two notifications. It will tell you that it has, um, you, you're missing a call and you're also missing a text message. That's kind of short in my opinion, but let's see if we can customize it. So let's go to messages, now test. Yep, we see that. Now we can go to phone and it has right there, test, try to call me, perfect. And let's go now to settings. Let's see what we can do with some of that. Um, let me punch in so you guys can see. Yes. Um, let's see. Okay, so it does have accessibility. Font size uh, can be a little bit bigger, which is nice, I think. Yeah, let's put it in large. Uh, display size. Small or default. That's pretty fine. Dark theme. Ooh, that's nice. Hey, those are extra features. Again, that's what you're, you know, kind of like paying a little bit more and that kind of stuff. Um, magnification, which is good for accessibility features. Um, we do have color correction, color inversion, large mo mouse pointer. Mm, I wonder maybe, hmm, what is that for? It doesn't have a browser. I mean, it's probably baked in and they have just not removed it. Remove animations, auto click, power button ends call. Oh, there it is, power button, this one, okay. Auto rotate screen, touch and uh, hold delay, uh, time to take action, vibration, system navigation, mono audio, audio balance, caption preferences, high contrast text, advanced, and so on and so forth. So again, a pretty good slew of features. Um, yeah, so you know, like uh, it's it's a, it's a good thing. Uh, does have Bluetooth and it does have NFC for the card for the Rav, Ravkov, I think. Uh, that's what it was called. Um, apps and notifications. We can see that all the apps, basic daydreams. I have no idea what that is. Fake player music, Gboard. Yeah, I would have, I would have assumed that's using Gboard. Um, yeah, this is pretty much everything that is installed. Uh, conversations, default, permission managers, a special access battery. Uh, this is something that I have no indication yet as to whether it's going to last four days or if it's going to be, you know, pretty easy to kill. Uh, but it does have battery saver, which is a great thing. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's kind of like the other thing for sure. Um, let's see what else uh, we have display, um, brightness level. We can go even a little further right there. Night light, adaptive brightness, led notification light. There you go. Charging state, unread SMS and missed calls, advanced screen timeout. We're going to Put it up a little bit, just so it doesn't time out on us. Auto rotate screen, font size, display size, screen saver. Screen saver. Oh, I can put colors or the clock, but eh, it was better when the clock. When to start while charging or docked. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's some, some good stuff. Again, you're paying for a little bit of extra customization. It's not, you know, just a $20 thing that you're kind of like having in there. Uh, privacy, permissions manager, uh, calendar apps, camera, things of that nature, notifications, unlock screen. Yeah, 
I mean, that that's pretty much it. Um, again, it's not, again, it's not amazing. It's not like the, 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 the best thing ever, um, but it does have some nice features. Again, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I think it's going to be a good experience using this device just for the tests that I do. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of excited to, you know, kind of like look into like, hey, let's let's see how we can uh, use it better. Um, Helix, uh, it does work on at and I tried earlier today. Um, I've been having a, a rough night because my dog, um, he's recovering from some stitches. Yesterday we were walking at the park and sadly he got bit uh, by bitten by another dog. And um, yeah, so, you know, it's we've been taking care of him. He's sleeping right now. He's essentially on pills and it's kind of sad, but you know, uh, allow me to start testing this phone around, uh, 5 AM, you know, cause that's when I had to take him out to the restroom for the first time and then kind of taking care of him since then. Um, and of course the snow day also puts me in a different mood, <laughs> uh, with, with some of these things. Okay. Uh, so this is the, um, Ooh, Ooh, one of the apps went away. What happened? What happened? Something happened. One of my apps is not here. Where is the Keda or no, no, something like, oh, okay. Maybe something that I adjusted with the display changed that app. Okay, let's see. Okay, display, advance. Let's go just a little bit less. No, not small. Some, somewhere in the middle no okay let me go back to maybe font size default okay i lost an app that's so odd like i what was this because of the update wow that's that's crazy i don't know <laughs> okay Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate the support for the dog. Yeah, he, he'll get better. Uh, he's already on pills. He's already doing, um, and, uh, yeah, he's already doing, doing a lot, much, much better. Um, it was, it was a little deep wound, but, um, you know, the vet took care of it and we were able to get there right on time and, you know, they took care of it. Um, and the other person was actually extremely responsible. Um, you know, like honestly, just, kindness goes a long way. Um, and the other person was just like, Hey, you know, I'll, I'll help you cover the vet bill. And I was like, wow, that's, that's amazing. You know, and like, uh, um, being responsible, you know, it's, 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 it's an amazing thing. And I really thank them for that. Um, because we know that it's an accident and it happens, but, uh, you know, they were really nice about it. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really, um, uh, I'm really thankful for that. Um, so, uh, yes, a couple questions from you guys. Um, Nico, uh, do you know why WhatsApp is frowned upon the Orthodox community? I don't necessarily think it's WhatsApp. I think the problem is the access to the internet and less than ideal or, um, you know, religious communities are not super um, into sending inappropriate images uh, for their kind of like religious background and stuff like that. So I guess it just opens up the opportunity for kids to receive content that their parents may not be really, you know, kind of like into. Um, but there may be other reasons. And I think Helix is kind of like having an idea. So it says some of the Orthodox communities frowns upon due to having group chats and things like that. I'm not really part of the Orthodox community. I've said people frown upon it. Uh, so group chats, um, is it just because it's like too distracting or like it can get into too much mobilization maybe? Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't remember which app it was, but it was the one that had religious text. It was like P something, pit, pit, Pero or something like that. I think we can go back into the live stream. Let me see if I can find it. Um, and check it out. Yeah. Cause I mean, I think, let me, let me go into the video link. Um, let me, yeah, let's see, let's see, uh, one, what was the app? It was called Yesod, Yesod, that's what it was. So Yesod, I, I think it got removed. I mean, I don't know why, 
because I inverted a couple things. Um, let me see if I can go back to kind of like how it was. Font size default, magnification. Where is my, oh, battery saver mode. Disable a couple things. Okay, let me go to battery saver mode. Okay, now let me go back to accessibility, dark theme, white theme. Is that is that the reason why? No, no, it's 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 gone. I think after the update, it 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 was gone. I don't know why, but you know, it's one of those things. Um, okay, guys. Um, if you guys don't have any extra questions, um. Let me um, kind of start wrapping it up. So in the next probably, let's do the next 10 minutes. I see one more question here. So let's, uh, let's, let's take into that. Um, so Mohammed, do you know, uh, asks uh, if I know of any KaiOS device with a QWERTY keyboard? I do. And let me show you my screen capturing here. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go to Guy. No. There's one in India. Um, Geo Phone 2. Right there. Boom. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> there it is. So Geo Phone 2 uses KaiOS. And um, you can get it with a QWERTY keyboard. So boom. Right there. It does have the, that ability. I do believe that their App Store is a little bit more... Um, um, restricted. But, you know, it's, it's a possibility. And the other one is KaiOS Mexico QWERTY keyboard. I believe, aha, there it is. It's called, what is called, what is it called? It's called the G, Gia, Gia uh, GWERTY, first KaiOS to pack a QWERTY keyboard in Mexico. Uh, so the Gia GWERTY, G QWERTY keyboard. Um, and you can buy it, I believe, on their market. Should be... 779 Mexican pesos, which will be Mexican pesos to US dollars should be around $41. Yeah, so 779 is about $41 currently. So 50 bucks for a QWERTY. Um, of course, you will have to find somebody that can then ship it to you and all of that good stuff. Uh, but yes, there are some uh, capabilities for for that. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Are you able to bring this phone to Europe to test as well? I'm thinking this will be perfect for my kids. Um, which one are you talking about, uh, Nico? Um, the the fic the fic flip is that is that what you're saying? Uh, if so, then yeah, I, I can bring it. That's no issues. Um, I, I already have kind of like some devices that I'm coming in and, and testing um, just because I want to make sure that I have more um, kind of like an, an, a better idea of like what's happening and all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, okay. A couple extra questions. You guys are bringing it in. That's cool. That's no problem with me. I, I do have time today, so it's, it's no problem. Yeah. Nico, I'll, I'll bring the fake flip. That's no problem. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing a giveaway of this device uh, just yet because it, well, number one is very expensive. So I have to make a couple of videos about it, comparisons, things like that. Uh, probably I'll be giving it away probably by the end of the year though, uh, since it's not a device that I see myself using. Uh, for for my purposes, either for work or for um, for replacing my iPhone too. Um, okay, so let's see, uh, Jose. I would love to see a, a flip phone with a QWERTY keyboard like the BlackBerry oh, one. Yeah, that would be super interesting. But I don't think any manufacturer is really interested into that anymore, sadly. But yeah, it will be it will be super cool. Um, why did T-Mobile stop selling the Cat S twenty two? Okay, good question. Let me show you guys. Um, that because that is an excellent question that I do have a semi answer for. Um, so number one, let's see catphones.com, I think. I feel like that's not gonna, yeah, yeah, it's gonna, okay, it's gonna lead me to the correct one. Uh, here, let me see. Okay, so first of all, this is the cat uh, website. And they have different products, right? They have their different phones. So let me go to their phone lineup products. And as you see right here, they have the 
S62, the S62 Pro, the S22 Flip. So what's happening here? Why is it advertised exclusively on T-Mobile, but when you go to T-Mobile, it does not redirect you to the correct place because they have discontinued it. I just text you to cell phones right here. Boom. Why is that? Good question. I have been told. I don't know how, you know, reliable this information is or how, um, you know, kind of like everything that you kind of have to take into account. But I have been told that their exclusivity agreement with T-Mobile has run out. So they are going to be looking to actually release it unlocked. Um, I am not 100% sure that this information is entirely accurate, but I have been told that this is one of the reasons why. So the S22, um, the S22 is going to be coming unlocked from CAT, but they're kind of like putting some regulatory hurdles in here and there. So I've been told it's going to take a while for it to, um, to, to kind of do that. Um, do have a couple extra questions here. Um, let me see what else. Um, so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is I believe um, Cat is not developing as many units of the locked one to T-Mobile, and they're actually creating uh, an unlocked version. But again, I'm not 100% sure. I will take this with a grain of salt, and we're kind of like just waiting to see what happens. Uh, I think they're interested. They have seen that it has sold very well because a lot of people are interested in a device like that but they're modifying a couple of extra things for the unlocked version. But again, I will take it with a grain of salt. Uh, this is what I've been told. Uh, and we'll just kind of have to wait and see if, if it pans out. I, um, I mean, another thing that I've been looking forward to, uh, which I can show you is this, the Opal Mobile USA. Um, so here we have launching in 2022 but it didn't launch in 2022 and that's because again more regulatory stuff i've been told that they are trying to come to the united states still uh but it's it's it's, it's not as easy as it may seem and they're having a little bit of issues with the competition in here but um yeah open mobile is another thing that i'm looking forward to, uh and hopefully it will come now in 2023 but you know some of these things get delayed it's not uncommon for this to happen same thing with like the light phone calendar is maybe going to come in the next two weeks but I expect it to be here by March uh, fully. They're working on it and they pretty much have everything done. But, you know, uh, from what I've been told, uh, they're still testing a, a lot of things. Uh, Mohammed asked if the Geo looks good, but is it unlocked? Um, as far as I've been told and as far as I know, um, the uh, Geo is unlocked. However, um, it's only one of the SIM cards that is unlocked. You have to have the Geo SIM card in it, in there, and then the other one unlocks uh, as a result. Um, but I don't believe it comes fully, fully unlocked because it has a dual SIM. Um, okay. Uh, Kenneth Yoder, can the Fig Flip play video? Okay, let me see. Um, so I'm going to take a video and I will let you know. Okay, so this is a recording. And now we can go here. And you can see right there, it's playing a video that I just took. So technically, yes, I do not know if you load a video, can it play that video? Um, that I am not sure 100% uh, about that. Um, and I believe I do have a USB-C cable here that we can try that with. Let's see, although it's a rather small. Oops. Let's see. Okay. Let's connect this. No, this is micro USB. I do not have uh, maybe this one. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. No, I don't have one, but I will test that later and it will make it to the full review to, you know, if it changes, it'll make it to the full review. If it can play video and I mean, I already showcase it here. So, you know, yeah. So kind of just showcasing that. Okay, uh, so it, does, it can play at least the videos that you can take with. Um, and I would assume that if you put something on the file manager, it'll probably be able to. Oh, let me download it. No, I cannot download a video from this uh, because it doesn't have a browser. Um, yeah, I'll test it later and I'll let you guys know. If, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, I'll make sure that's notable in the review that it doesn't or it cannot play video. Okay, let's see. Next thing. 
Uh, we have, thank you for doing this live for your time. You're awesome. Thank you. Appreciate the appreciation. <laughs> um, I'm glad that you are enjoying your uh, Titan pocket with the launcher. Uh, Josh, Opel makes basic phones. I thought they made cards. I think that's a different company. Uh, I think this is Opel and the other one's Opal or Opel with a umlaut. So I think it's like a, a, a different company. Um, yeah. All right, an hour and 20 minutes, guys. I'm really excited. Uh, we have gotten over a lot of information for the Fig Flip. We got, you know, kind of like seeing a tour a little bit of the device and things of that nature. And of course, I will be doing a full review of this device once I have more information about the battery life and whether it works with Verizon and it works with T-Mobile and all of that good stuff. But, you know, some of the things you already see. So uh, be on the lookout. Um, some niceties like the LED screen, uh, the LED notification right here. That's, that's super nice. Nice. That's very good. The hinge, again, very solid right here. Like, you know, it feels like a premium device um, because it is $350. So it better, it better be, you know? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so here we have a, a hinge. Here we have um, this button. I don't know what it does. Um, it just kind of like highlights stuff, but like, it doesn't, I mean, I, I know it selects things, of course. I mean, it's a selector button, but besides that, um, let me see if I press it for a long time. Does it do anything? Nope. No, 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 it just goes into the menus. You're able to, it, it, again, it's a quality device. It feels good. These keys are a little bit ru rubber, rubbery, but, you know, um, th they feel nice. I mean, good separation. Uh, it's a little bit bigger for my personal taste, but, you know, that's kind of like a thing for, for me. It's just my personal taste, right? um ways i'm going to be testing so i'll be testing if it works and if it doesn't then of course i'll be kind of showcasing that as of now it hasn't been able to pinpoint my location very well you need network and gps connection when reporting an event oh okay okay but i do have network and gps connection so what is the problem okay Electric, private, taxi, motorcycle, electric, private, avoid toll roads. Here, let me see. Let me find something. I mean, like maybe maybe this works. So let's try. Uh, oh, and by the way, it does have um, all of these other things right here. Uh, like it does have like A, B. This is symbols. This is emojis. Um, you know that kind of stuff. So that is also available. It does have a Hebrew keyboard, but we're going to do the English. So, uh, oh, boo, Starbucks. No, it's not going to, uh, star you can do that. B U C K S bucks. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so it's giving me all the Starbucks in the country, essentially. <laughs> so nothing really close to where I am. Um, it's definitely close to California. Um, because for some reason, it thinks that I'm in San Francisco. But I'm not. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I mean, I'll be testing if it works or if it doesn't um, with the location data and how accurate all of that is. Uh, but as of right now, it doesn't have the best. It does have a screen recorder, which is nice. And I guess it does can also screencast. So I don't know why you'll be screencasting, but let me deactivate that. Uh, clear skies in San Francisco. Software update again. Oh, okay. Another one. Introducing the FIG comprehensive calendar, Hebrew calendar. Then add it one button translation to text messages. Okay. Various bug fixes, new option and settings for incoming calls to answer the call upon opening the phone. Pasco bug upon restarting the phone fix. Okay, well, guys, we have an update. Again, this is a very, very good precedent because if you're spending $350 for a device, uh, you should be getting updates. And this is good. It, it's good. This is the second update I've gotten today. Um, which to me, it just says like, hey, they're they're doing their homework, they're supporting the device. So you're getting, you're, I mean, you're paying 350, you're gonna get an update. You're gonna get, you know, all of these things, which is again, very welcome. 
Um, let's deal with a couple of questions. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this uh, install. So, Jose, do you know if the Nokia 2780 TCL Flip 2 or the Blue Tank Flip can play YouTube or podcast with the Flip close like the Cat S22 or is that Android stock only? No, this one can. Uh, this is the 2780 right here. Um, I can show you. Uh, let's uh, find something that doesn't have any <laughs> anything that will be a copyright strike. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, let's do the how I built this with Guy Raz. One a great, great podcast. Honestly, I, I think it's a good, good podcast. It teaches you a lot about entrepreneurs and what they do and all that good stuff. We can play it, play, and close it. Early and ad free on Amazon Music. Download the Boom. app. Right there. I don't know if you can hear this it. It's probably Ray super, Ray. super Co-host low. Of the NPR podcast, White Lies. Before we throw- yep. So you can play it. Um, and um, of course, after that, we'll go, go back. We're going to pause it right there. So, yes, it can play the uh, 2780. Um, <laughs> Nico says... Uh, um, they probably know Jose's doing the live stream and pushing updates to impress. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But but yeah, it's it's funny. Um, yeah, I do have more than thirty percent. It should be installing. Okay, so installing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah. So Nokia twenty seven eighty right here. Um, uh, you know, again, eighty dollar device, and the twenty seven sixty is a twenty dollar device as well. Uh, okay, not so impressive. It's not installing it. It's uh, giving me a couple errors. Oh, you know that that happens uh, with with any phone. Um, but yeah, it, it can play. Um, I think personally, the um, in in my opinion, the YouTube, um, the YouTube, the YouTube doesn't play uh, when it's closed. I believe I can play a YouTube video here. I'll play my own YouTube video, so I don't get any copyrights and any claims and all that good stuff. Uh, perfect. Reboot the device. We'll see some of this upgrades that we just got, which is amazing uh, that we're getting up. I mean, that's what I want to see. When I when I see a company that charges more than uh, 130 or 150 dollars, like for a dumb phone, even more than 100 dollars, like you need to be updating your devices. That's just my personal opinion. That's why I like Sunbeam. They update their devices. That's why I like the Light Phone. They update their devices. That's why I like Fig. Clearly, they're updating their devices. Um, there are other companies that do charge um, this amount of money, and they don't really update that much. And I, I personally don't recommend them for that reason. Um, but you know, even Punked sometimes updates their devices, but sometimes, you know, uh, they haven't, they, they have, they have been getting better. Let's put it that way. Uh, Mudita also has a great, um, uh, here, I'm, I'll showcase to you. How does this look? The, of course, uh, KaiOS is definitely um, slower. So, you know, oh, look, that's the live stream. Let's watch that live stream. And my viewers just went up because another person is watching. But if I close it, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. So they have, they have been getting better. Let's put it that way. Inception also right here. Has a great, um... uh, okay. Let me play it and then close the, the thing and see if that works. Oh, no, no, I stopped. It stopped. Yeah, that would have been, uh, that would have been, um, <laughs> would have been nice if, if it was uh close and still playing but it played for a second and then it kind of just just went away so yeah you know it is what it is okay so we got the update for the fake flip too um and let's see what happens now the yesod app is gone i i, I would like to know why i mean I, I did it have access to to some browser in the middle of it oh, that would have been good to know oh, well it is what it is um uh, let's go to here. Uh, let me deactivate this uh, this thing. Sorry, guys. I, I hate this this sound. I don't know why. Sound. Uh, phone ringtone. That one. Yes. Oh, I hate when it just keeps making sounds all the time. Oh, what? Oh, that's the dial pad tone. 
Okay, let's see. Um, sounds, call volume, alarm volume. Touch sounds, there it is. Nice, okay, now we're good. Okay, so we got some stability updates to said. Um, maybe Waze gets my location now, maybe? Um, we'll see. Um, Nope, I'm still in San Francisco. So the um, <laughs> the GPS is, is still not reliable fully um, for some reason. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, yes, we're going to shut it down. Um, and yeah, yeah. I don't remember what was the other thing that we saw in the update. Oh, yes, yes. T translation on the text. Ah, let's see. Let's see this. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um... I'm going to assume that this is related to the voice, right? So luckily, I do speak another language. I do not speak Hebrew, but I do speak Spanish. No, but that's that's a recording. I can I can yeah, you can always record. That's not a problem. Uh, let's see. Aha! There it is. Now, if you tap it a couple times, you will be able to showcase this, which tells me that I'm able to speak to it. Yes, let's allow Gboard. So voice to text is something that is possible. Y ahora voy a hablar en español y vamos a ver si... No, no está traduciendo bien al español. It's not translating uh, well to, to Spanish in here. Um, but it is translating to English, so we do have the ability to do uh, voice to text, which is again, it's 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 a nice feature. It's a very good thing because I mean, it's it's from Google, of course. And if you don't like that, that's what it is. But kind of like showcasing that it does have the capability, uh, but not for Spanish, at least so far. We're gonna delve into the settings to see that. Um, okay, let's uh, let's go back. Let's delete this, all of it. Um, so voice to type a couple of things that you need to do but hey you know that's 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 kind of like some of some of the stuff that's happening um okay uh let's see um uh, well we're gonna go check it out because it did say that it had the spanish stuff and i don't know um yeah yeah we'll we'll see we'll see what what's going on here because it said it had some spanish thing spanish feature um, so let's go to settings and figure that out. Um, I, I love it when I find new things, uh, you know, kind of like on the phone and that kind of stuff. Like it, it really, oh, night light. Oh, that's pretty good. Schedule turns up from sunset to sunrise. Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. Turns off from sunset to sunrise. Again, these are good features. Um, um, that a $350 device should have, you know, and like that's one of the things that the $20 devices do not have. So, for example, this one's $20. It doesn't have voice to text. Um, but, hey, you know, different things happening here. Uh, let first responders see your information. Okay, that's another extra thing. Let's go to keyboard and see if we can find something that gives us languages and all of that good stuff. Okay, languages, add a language. Ooh, perfect. Look at this. All of these languages. Perfect. Let's see. Espanol, Estados Unidos. Let's add another language. We're going to add German. That's the one that I'm learning. Deutschland. Yep. Um, okay. Let's see if that does on-screen keyboard, physical keyboard, tool, spell checker, autofill service, personal dictionary. So it does have a personal dictionary. Very good. Pointer speed. Okay. Well, now let's see. If this does it on the messages, I like that message shortcut is pretty good. Okay. Mi nombre es Jose. Eso si es muy. No, muy bien, muy bien. Está hecho muy bien. La traducción está buena. Es mucho mejor de lo que había mostrado antes. Hello. Let's switch to a different language and see if you can translate. Okay. Hello. Please translate for me. Okay. Okay. It's doing it now. So it's kind of catching on. It's a little bit slower. Maybe it's because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Let me connect to Wi-Fi and um, 
Yeah, let me do that. So there you go. It does have a lot of languages. So that is that is something that's good to good to look into. Uh, Death Star 5G. Um, where do I have that passcode? Uh, here, let me go into my. If I go off a little bit right now, if I froze, is because um, let's see. Let's say we're not going. Um, okay, let's search for this. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find my passcode on my notes. I knew I should have taken this notes. Oh, it's not in this one. Okay, well, let's go back to the droid cam. Oh, it froze. Okay, maybe. Oh, yes, good. Okay, uh, let me open up my Mac. Uh, I'll be right back. Be right back. Okay. Oof. All right, my Mac is restarting. Um, so yes, let's see. Um, let's see what's up. What's up with um our friend here with our uh let's see. Well, I do know now that at least the um um yeah, don't, I don't have the um, the ability to. Man, we're going into two hours. Hey, that's cool. See if see if it translates. Que onda, boludo? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll, we'll try it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll try it. Why not? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let me find my my. I'll I'll try the Wi-Fi because right now I'm on a limited plan. So this um texting um. A plan that I have is on US mobile and it's like five bucks and uh it's literally just the basics so it doesn't have uh it doesn't have a lot of the a lot of the stuff so yeah that, that's probably one of the reasons why uh, maybe the Wi-Fi is not not catching up and not, not being so fast uh, so I'll, I'll you know I'll try in three different languages the three that I can speak um and we'll test from there. Uh, well, the nice thing about the G board right right here is that you're able to get uh, more symbols and you know, kind of like a better layout. And because it does have the touch screen, it's you know, something nice. Um, let's see. Okay, finally found it. Let's see. Uh, um, you. Da -da -da. Uh huh. No. 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 The keypad is kind of small. So not necessarily recommend you using it. Q X. Two. Okay, it's one of those random passwords, so I don't necessarily I don't have it memorized. So I have to look it up every single time that I set up a new device. Okay, let's go back to messages, and let's do. All right, let's see if it works. Vamos a, vamos a comenzar con ¿Qué onda, boludo? To see if it does Argentinian Spanish as well. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, tap twice, right? Yep, there it is. ¿Qué onda, boludo? Okay, it got que, so... ¿Qué onda, boludo? ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, ahí está, eh, boludo, boludo, lo, lo hizo bien, eh. Qué bien, eh, el pelotudo. Vamos a cambiar ahora el inglés. Now let's do it in English now and let's see uh, how it translates. I think it's stuttering a little bit. So, yeah, it kind of has to restart if you're going to switch languages. So we're going to do now um, English. So this is the English test. Uh, and it is, it, it's typing it. So it's, it's doing a pretty, pretty good job. Yeah. And now we're going to try to switch to Deutsch. Hello, my name is uh, Jose. My name is Jose und na na ya. Um, now it's trying to translate it into Eng into English, not not Deutsch. Uh, so I don't think it's trying to do um, uh, speech to text for for Germany, uh, for German. Uh, this, so let's let's try to do it again. Let's reset it. 
Dieser ist ein Handy, eine super Handy. Dieser ist ein Handy, ein super Handy. Oh ja, na, ich habe ähm, Deutsch und Österreich und äh, dieser Handy has, uh, or hat uh, oder uh, viele Sprache. Yeah, there it is. It is doing it in, in German now. So, yeah, uh, okay. So it does have the ability to do um it does have the ability to do to do the uh, all of these features which again I, I think that's that's worth it i mean you know um it's one of the features that i definitely appreciate the most uh, when you have some of these customizations that uh, you're able to do on some of these android devices so i personally think um it does have the ability to do three languages so far um i guess i could track french with my broken french um and kind of like showcase to you because again this is this device is unlocked it has two sim cards and uh if it does have the ability to to do some of some of these things um i i think the the only compromise that you're going to be making here is essentially the um well i need to test the gps i need to test i, I need to test the, the ways because if if ways is not working reliably then it's kind of like a moot point to 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 have it and it's pretty prominent i mean it has a waste button out here so like i mean again that that's kind of like some some of those things that i'm i'm, I'm kind of like hey you know is this something let, let me try a different language uh, um i mean just to test one more it, it will make it pretty global i mean that's spanish english french it can it probably can do um um it definitely can do uh hebrew um i, I would assume so because well you know it's, it's kind of like the that, that um and again it has all of these um i don't speak some of these so uh, i'm sorry I, I wish i could i could do um uh, hebrew and kind of like showcase to you guys um if, if that works but let me see if if this if this is something that uh let me go to the uh french france uh let's see if it does the translation automatically uh, je m'appelle José, je suis de Nicaragua. Um, no, 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 je, je, ne, je ne suis Joséphine, je suis José. Uh, et j'aime ai, les fromages et j'aime... Nah, it's not doing it well. Uh, I think it's trying, but I mean, they did get je m'appelle correct. But again, my French accent is not that great. So <laughs> probably it's like, uh, what are you trying to speak? Bonjour, je m'appelle. Bonjour, je m'appelle José, and et je suis du Nicaragua. Et, et c'est très bon, très bien, et c'est c'est vrai. Et les Français et a très bon langue. No, nah, it's not getting it. I think it's because um, the keyboard right here. Let me switch to that French. Like, uh, let's see. I, I think it's it's trying to recognize something, but it's not it's not doing it well. Uh, let's see now. We're gonna try one more time. Uh, Bonjour. Um, je m'appelle José et je suis du Nicaragua et j'aime j'aime les fromages et Et j'habite à Denver. Um, et, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. <laughs> uh, but it does it well. It does. That's French too. So uh, again, it's it's something that uh, it's it's something that definitely can um, allow you to do uh, some of these things. So it's it's very interesting, very good. Um, I think the value is there. If the if the ways works uh, reliably. I think it can definitely be an, an amazing contender against the Lightphone 2. So the Lightphone 2 has maps and they work, eh, you know, 60, 70% of the time. Uh, but again, it's not what you're getting this device for. Uh, but if the Waze can work reliably on this device, I think we have a, a very big contender for something that is super basic, something that is uh, very good and that, you know, kind of like uh, allows for, for all of those features. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have a couple of extra questions. Uh, I'm gonna close it at two hours, guys. I think that's a good uh, uh, kind of like setup, Q and A. You know, all of these different things. All right, so let's see. Um, 
<laughs> let's break the Guinness world record for world's longest live stream. Isn't that like five days or something? Uh, what uh, Ludwig did, I think, uh, and, and Twitch, right? It's like super long. Uh, anyways. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Um, let's see. A phone that gets us speaking multiple languages is definitely worth 350. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if not worth more than 350. Yeah. 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 I mean, definitely it's, it's worth, it's, it's a smartphone capability. So, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, plans for life is asking if there is a phone that can block uh, explicit content. I am going to assume that you're saying here something like, um, you know, nudity and things of that nature. Um, so this one does it in the sense that it doesn't have a browser. So you cannot access some of that. But I would assume that because you can have pictures here and you can have um, videos, if you put them offline, I wouldn't see a way to block it. But if that's something that you're looking into, I think your best bet will be a light phone because this one cannot play videos and it cannot receive pictures either. Like, I mean, it receives pictures and it sends them to your email, um, but you cannot see them on the device. So if you're interested in breaking an addiction or, you know, something like that, um, I would say uh, the light phone will be a better option because it doesn't have the capability of getting images into it or video by that matter. Um, so if you're, you know, somebody that's, um, looking to change their lifestyle into something that, you know, doesn't involve explicit content, then I think the light phone will be a better option. Uh, probably the Punk Tempi Zero 2 as well, you know, that's another option. And the Mudita Pure. Uh, yeah, those three, because they cannot play any video, they don't have the ability to look into images, things, things of that nature. Um, okay, uh, Plans for Life. Um, yeah, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have browser. This one only has calls, text, and maps. Uh, to this day, every time I try to put orange text, the mentioning is false. I can figure it out. Uh, okay. Uh, plans for life. Eso se puede hacer parental settings para YouTube. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can also put parental settings on a, on a phone and kind of block it that way. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Plans for life. You're looking for a phone that can download certain applications, but that it cannot have explicit content. Um, that's, that's a very mm, specific use case. And you're going to have to um, you're going to have to do it kind of like on your own. I want to show you guys something because um, this this gets into a little bit more of like the philosophical area of dumb phones, what you want to use them for, and that kind of stuff. But also, I, I want to show you a, a couple of a couple of things. Um, let's see, um, a lot of you speaking Spanish <laughs> now. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Se puede bloquear access to browsers. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can find these phones in Pakistan market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's sad. I, I know. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Parental controls. Yep, yep. Um, Nico, thank you for watching. I know you dropped off a, a couple of minutes ago, uh, but I'm glad that the the, the live stream was helpful to you. Um, let me be right back. I'm going to bring. Um, my unplug key and uh, an Android device to kind of showcase what are some of the possibilities here. So I'll be right back.
Yes, it should be working, right? Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Again, I have a very. I don't have my desktop here, so it's a little bit of a different setup for sure. Um, here I'm going to install, unplug, and there's another one that I've been I've been uh, uh, told to install, which is one sec. Um, one second everyday journal. No, I think it's maybe maybe delay distracting apps. Yes, this is the one. Um, and then on iPhone there is clear spaces as well, but I don't think they have it on Android yet. Um, no. Okay, so I'll, I'll be showcasing these two apps and kind of how they work uh, because I think this 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 can be uh, as we get into the hey I want certain apps but I don't want other apps. Your best bet will just be to get an Android device, either a full Android smartphone or a kind of like midway flip phone that can install install different applications. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, let's see. Um, so here's a, this is a Pixel Six. So I'm gonna open on plug. Uh, I think I have to log in. Get started. Uh, less than two hours. Whatever. Less. Uh, the good news. Show me how it works. Uh, let me see if I can log in quickly. I should be able to do it. Connie's already registered. Okay. Yes, it is already registered. Of course it is because. Uh, let me see. All right. Uh, log in. Yes. Sorry guys, I need to log in into my unplug account. Okay, so this is how it works essentially with unplug now. Uh, sure, save the password, that's fine. Darn it, these smartphones. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right, we're gonna skip that. So this is the unplug uh, device. Um, so I'll showcase how it works. So essentially, just the um, the uh, software version of it. So not necessarily the um, the other one. So productivity. Uh, let's do a quick setup. Uh, no, I don't have an unplug tag because I don't have it. Uh, but we're gonna do a uh, walk. Yeah. So they just added this. So you have to actually walk. Um, to, uh, I'm not gonna get up. Okay, let me do a scroll. Scroll and let me do like a hard version. So let's do save. Uh, let's activate the schedule. Uh, and then it needs some permissions, right? So app usage access, we're gonna give it to unplug. And then we're gonna give overlay permission. Also right there. And then uh, free premium trial. Yay, thanks. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, why do all things come to an end? Your upload premium subscription. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, you have a lifetime for not $194. A little bit high, in my opinion. Uh, but you can also do $449 per month. Um, I would honestly do the lifetime if you, um, if you plan to use it fully. Uh, so I'll, I'll showcase how this works. So this, uh, um, okay, skip. Okay, uh, so right now Disney Plus and Hulu are blocked because um, it's only the software version. So, uh, and it's the free version right now. Uh, I don't know why my lifetime is not activated. I should have that, but let's go try to, um, so you install all the apps you want, right? You know, and then you go into, uh, something like Hulu. Uh, so I'll try to open Hulu and it'll tell you, no, Hulu is blocked because you're not supposed to be using this right now. Um, so it's, you know, by this schedule, the free schedule. Uh, so you can access Hulu by tapping a pattern. So one, two, and as you see, this is going to delay your, um, your accessing of the app and what it's trying to do is trying to tell you like, Hey, you said that you were not going to use this. Right. Um, so, you know, kind of like go into it and give yourself that idea of, um, um, not, not having to use this all the time. So, you know, like, you know, you will have to go through the whole pattern to uh, uninstall it, but it does also have the ability to have a tag, which is an NFC tag. And you can go into the live stream and see how, how it all works. Right. 
um, and if you don't have the tag, it will block you from using it. Uh, so that's one way of using Unplug. Um, uh, I don't know why their price on Lifetime is a little bit high, but I'll talk to Tim and see if you know he can get uh, maybe a, a discount for all of you who are watching. Uh, because I think that, that that should be like, it was like 100 last time I checked. So, you know, I was I think it was reasonable for a lifetime. Uh, but essentially, it will not let you access these apps unless you do that. And you can create schedules. Uh, the good thing that they have now is that if I believe you can block uninstalling and force quitting on plug. So now you can create something called an admin app. So you can activate this device as an admin app and uh, essentially you have the ability to block completely the settings. Uh, you can disable emergency mode. You can put a password protection. If you're a parent, uh, you can do a lot of these things and you shouldn't be able to uninstall it and quit it, um, nowadays. So I think that's a great advantage for, um, those of you who, Hey, I want to get something. Uh, and I want to make sure that I don't have access to it and I don't have access to modify it either way or, you know, doing a couple of these things um, unless it's through a factory reset. And I think that's a good compromise, you know, kind of like a good uh, a good thing that that you can do. Uh, now, the other app that I've been shown is one sec. Um, so sure. One sec. Um, this one is a little bit of a different philosophy, but kind of like the same idea. So if you have an iPhone or you have a, um, an Android, you can use this app to essentially delay, uh, your allow. Let's see, continue. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do Hulu. Uh, and then we're going to disable unplug for that specific one. Let's see. Boom. Right there. Get access. Sure. I'm going to have to tap 15 times. Um, let's see, time to think about your decision essentially. <laughs> um, but I have to disable that one so I can show you how one sec works. Uh, so there's three kind of competitors in this space so far. Uh, get clear space is on iPhone. Um, unplug is on both, uh, and, or will be on both. And one sec is already on both. So if you open one sec and we go to Hulu, uh, which is the app. I love it. Oh, okay. There, it blocked me. So now it says, um, one sec, I guess, like, and I was just trying to do a one second. No, no. Okay. Let's try it again. Maybe it didn't fully work. <laughs> Hulu. Okay. It's trying to do the overlay, but I, I just don't see it working very reliably. So this is blocking it, but, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's an animation three. Three attempts to Hulu within the last 24 hours. I don't want to open Hulu or continue to Hulu. Uh, let me see if I can punch in a little bit so you guys can see it right there. So let's see, continue to Hulu. You can continue without issues. Now, are there any extra limitations or full kind of like thing? One sec. Uh, settings. Um, let's see. You can upgrade to one sec pro. Okay, let's see. Annual plan. First year, $5, then $99. Oh, there it is. Now we're talking a little bit better. Lifetime unlock payment of $29.99. Again, it's definitely a little bit better. Um, um, so yeah, I mean that's not a that's not a bad that's not a bad thing. Intervention customization, time tracking, intentional app switching, uh, unlimited apps. I don't know if this means that you can get everything blocked. Uh, should I purchase it? That's just thirty dollars. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll do it on. I think I want to try it on the iPhone because I feel like that is more difficult to kind of like get through. Um, yeah. So that's that's kind of like the the thing. But I want to see what happens like with the settings actually. Because I, I mean, uh, maybe later. Okay. Let's see. So intentional app switching. Is part of one sec pro it allows you to quickly switch between apps without triggering an additional intervention. Okay. Breathing exercise, learn more to customize this breathing exercise. It's time to wait, take a deep breath well, to customize the breathing exercise. 
Okay, so background settings, licenses. I don't think this can block you from accessing stuff fully, like like fully block you. Like, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have the customization where you can um essentially, you know, do the um yeah so, some of the other stuff. So like, uh, I mean, I find it kind of useful, but not not fully additional android background settings compatibility issues now mm -mm. imprint uh, okay this is just regulatory information um no i'm not gonna upgrade because it doesn't seem like it has the ability to do what i wanted to do you know like i mean i'm, I'm not really like able to oh, let me punch out oh punch out yeah like I'm not able to like customize it like I want it. So, okay, last one, but not least to plants for life. I know this is a very, very long um, response to you, but I mean, this is something that can help you in your journey for digital minimalism. And in, in my humble opinion um, is uh, clear spaces, clear space. Um, no, no app i guess um clear spaces no not clear spaces uh no clear space clear space yes get clear space that's the one so right here uh, is similar to the one sec mentality uh but it does allow you to have like uh so there is the breathe in you know complete a, a centering exercise uh stay present with your limits it tells you how many um, times you want to budget. Um, and then it also gives you an idea to like, Hey, um, in five, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, uh, kind of nudge me to kind of go back again. And, um, which I think is better customization than what I see here on the, um, what I see here on the, um, on the one sec app, you know, like, I mean, this one gives you kind of like a, Hey, in five minutes, give me a nudge or block me out, you know, like to be like, okay, yeah, I need to get into this distracting app, but I don't need to do it forever. So, you know, it kind of like pulls you back, which I, I, I do like, uh, this one's on iPhone, I believe only. Um, and you can enable clear space, like, you know, for all the apps, uh, redesign your life, redirect impulse, clicks, session lengths, data insights, uh, and you can get it. And and I believe if you do get clear space slash dumb phones, no, Jose, no, I don't remember which one is my, um, yeah, I don't remember Briones. No. Okay. So there's a lifetime code that I have, um, with them. Uh, dumb phones. Mm, I don't remember. I'll, I'll find it and then I'll, I'll look into it later. So they have, um, like a, it's paid, you know, if you want to, they have a free, free area and it's pretty robust, but if you want to get more stuff in there, um, there's also like an extension that you can, um, look into, let's see, get clear space. Get extensions from Microsoft Edge. Uh, this works on, um, I believe it works on Chrome and it also works on uh, something else. Let me see, add to Chrome, there it is, that's the one. Um, so this one also blocks kind of like your, like getclearspace.com. Oh, it's already added, but it's not showing it, I guess. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's probably in some other browser. Repair. Can you repair it? Remove it. Let's add it again. Add to Chrome. Add extension. Boom, right there. Okay. So if I enter my email, uh, I'll do it later. Anyways, the point is there are different competitors and kind of like check it out if you're wanting to stay in your smartphone um, kind of lifestyle and, you know, all that good stuff, like, uh, but you want a little bit more of customization for the things that you want, uh, then, you know, those are some options that you have in order to 
not be super distracted. Um, yeah. So, okay. So we're at two hours and seven minutes, a little bit longer than, <laughs> than I was uh, planning, but that's okay. Um, that's, that's cool guys. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, uh, are finding a lot of value in the content and, um, I'll be coming in with a full review of the fig flip. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's kind of like some of the stuff. Uh, let's see a couple of last question. Um, let's see, uh, two, 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 um, plans for life. So in other words, somebody can be notified if you're trying to access blocked apps. I believe so. I, I feel like the parental one, you need a, a password and it maybe have a notification with unplug. Um, then you have besides blocking limiting apps, can either of these three block content on browsers, maybe also using keywords. Uh, yes, it can, it can actually, uh, unplug, I believe Tim um, you can watch the live stream, but somebody asked that kind of same question to like, can I block browsers or like certain content? I don't think it's based on keyboards. I, I think it's based on URLs. Uh, but I think you can, you can block stuff like, you know, um, from, from browsers and apps and all of that good stuff. Yeah. Um, thanks for, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope, you know, the content is always helpful and I hope that you're finding a lot of value. Um, I'll be producing uh, some writing um, on the newsletter. So make sure to subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, you can go to the Dumbphone Finder and it will guide you to the newsletter pretty quickly. You can just you know put your email there. Um, I'm looking to make the newsletter um, offline um, and like fully offline, actually, uh, even though I mean, the, the, the newsletter is called Moving Offline and I eventually want to take it fully offline, a kind of like a subscription service. Um, where I write and you get it in the mail kind of a thing and you can reply back to me and you know, I can, we can have conversations that way. Um, there'll be some, still some online content that I produce, but I'm trying to be, become more mindful of like how I produce my content and, uh, where, where I produce it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for, you know, sticking around for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. Talking about dumb phones and like different things. Uh, I hope uh, the stream was valuable and that you learned something about the fig flip too. Uh, and if you have any extra questions uh, or anything related to all of the other stuff that I have reviewed or commented in the past, make sure to put it in the comments. And I'll, as always, I'll interact with you guys. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one, which will be probably the review of this next week. Uh, or if I have a comparison, I'll probably be making comparisons between this and the light phone and the punked and you know a lot of the different things are kind of in the same price range so you can get a little bit of a, uh, an idea of how all of this works uh, the review probably will be done by sunday or monday uh i'll probably publish it around there sunday monday maybe tuesday uh, depending on if i find because this is a very basic device it doesn't it's not going to take me super long but i really want to test some of these things like ways uh maybe we can take takes ways one more time now that i'm connected to wi-fi i wonder if that makes a difference uh, no, I'm still in San Francisco. Okay. Well, I'll be testing and I'll let you guys know if something else changes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.